All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Got War 4, 5, and 6 here. Season 41, Reconnoitre. Reconnoitre. Uh, GT40 going up against uh, HCAR, Salty, and then Noon. Um, HCAR, pretty sure we crushed these guys. 15 or 16 to 0, I think. Maybe one death. Uh, Salty, that was a close war. 3 to nothing final, I believe. And then Noon. Ha, <sighs> sigh. Should have won that one. Played our best. Uh, I think it was a 3-2 final, but uh, we had someone not place defense. So we kind of shot ourselves in the foot there. It really burns to lose like that too. Um, totally preventable and it's just, you know, you can't do it in tier one war. It just, you just can't do it. That's fundamental stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Anywho, uh, let's get into this first war. We got uh, Hulkling, Nick Fury, Scorpion, and Korg. Hulkling and Nick Fury on 5A here. Scorpion and Korg on um, 1B. Uh, Doom and uh, Magneto for this one, essentially, and then a Synergy. I actually really like uh, Juggernaut against Hulkling uh, over Doom. Doom, I mean, he's he's Doom. He's, he's OP. He's amazing for basically any Cosmic and a whole lot of other stuff. He is good versus Hulkling because he can nullify, but uh, he's long. He's long versus Hulkling. There we go. I thought he was... Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't notice the debuff immune there and got stabbed. But no, uh, Jugs is faster. He's got a lot of secondary damage on his level two. He has he can keep almost full uptime on uh, Jugs is unstoppable. So you got that safety net where you can just you know kind of dash in and out, dash in and out, and you don't have to worry about getting nicked. You know if, if hopefully you know nicks you with you know. His level one or his level two or whatever it is, or even just a dash in, you know, uh, medium, you could just pull out because you're unstoppable. And plus, he kills him a little faster. You know, they're both Mystic, Doom, and Jugs, so um, you know you've got MD working in your favor against Hulkling. But uh, Doom just works more better for so much other stuff. Um, and plus, he's rank four. My Jug is rank three. But for what it's worth, Jugs does do really, really well versus Hulkling. And he's safe. But anywho, so yeah, it'd be a different story like if, if uh, Doom could actually power control against Hulkling, but he's power drain, power steel, immune, all that. So uh, he loses that huge ability. Um, but either way, he, he does great. And he's rank four, so. Uh, you just gotta play around his damn indestructible, which is really annoying because if you nullify, not only does it go passive, the indestructible, but it's it increases by three seconds. So yeah, definitely annoying. But either way, still a good fight. Um, pretty clean. I got punched in the face a few times, but meh. All right, moving on, we got uh, Nick Fury next, next node. Uh, Magneto with the Synergy. Magic, uh, Scarlet Witch, and I think there's like two others to activate the Synergy. But um, it's for the heal block on Knockdown. So the strat here uh, is knock him down uh, to clear the protection, but knock him down right when he's at, you know, one or 2% so that he goes into uh, his decoy, drops off, he goes into um, his second phase, and then you throw a level three to knock him down, and that heal block comes up right as he's going into second phase, prevents his uh, all his regen, his life gain, and then simultaneously um, inflicts a bunch of bleeds from the level three, so he basically just dies. Uh, it saves you, and it, you know, normally you can just play around it, play stun immune, whatever, or Netflix, or uh, Netflix. Nick Fury would be stun immune, but uh, on this node, it's unblockable, or I'm sorry, unstoppable on his heavy. And that is, uh, that's scary stuff because you, you you basically have to intercept for openings. You got no other way to, you know, get openings unless you hit his block a lot, you know, push him to level one or level two, try to counter. Uh, you can't really counter his level one, but you can, but. Um, yeah, it's just, it's not a situation you want to be put in, so 
We're just going to beat them down until, um, at, you know, with free parrying. And we're going to beat them down until um, until he's at 1 or 2%. And I think, yeah, recoil. I don't know what the hell they were thinking here, placing with suicides. Um, surely it was a mistake, one would hope. But, uh, yeah, no, he placed with suicides, so. I think he drops like 1% here. Yep, now we're going to go... We're gonna knock him down here and then go right into level three. Boom, knock down. Heal block's gonna, so it just activated the heal block when I knocked him down there. This is gonna, I think it's gonna do a new, another heal block. Another knockdown. No life gain, bleeds, flops over. Uh, this next fight, Scorpion, also a mags fight. He's on 1B. Um, yeah, pretty standard stuff. You can see my boost there. I, I just put, you know, I didn't need a power back with Magneto. Honestly, you didn't even need the, the mutant boost, but did it anyway. What am I running? A 12% mutant? Yeah. And then I think I just reapply a 12% uh, Mystic to uh, Doom after this one. Bonk. So yeah, pretty straightforward strat here. Um, basically just ignore the node and build a level three. You know, beat them up with the heavies, knock them down. Got plenty of time since you've got that high perfect block chance. So your uh, parry stuns are extended. Um, I mean, yeah, honestly, like don't even really need the level three. I probably could have thrown a level two and killed him here, but you know, stick with the plan. And he has recoil. Idiots. Um, yeah, I mean, this level three was completely unnecessary. He was dying just fine with the heavies, but we're going to do it anyway. Crunch, crunch, tinfoil. And then this next one, um, this cork fight, we had already won the war handily, but, uh, I always remove decks still against Korg in virtually every scenario in war. Um, I'm removing decks. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to, even though Doom, like, you know, I don't have to worry about his thorns. I can sit there and just bait heavy, whole block and bait heavy. Uh, still don't want to get, you know, potentially wrapped up in a circle of, you know, unstoppable, unblockable, unstoppable, unblockable. Uh, plus, uh, this is a buffet node, so no dex buff, no problem. Um, and yeah, the strat here, uh, that level one start carried over, uh, I didn't need it for the last fight. It was mainly for this fight, but might as well, you know, push it through two fights. Uh, yeah, the strat here is just use level two because the level three does, um, activate a fury, which would get purified, heal him. And I don't get the fury anyway, since I'm going to lose it. Um, yeah, so just level twos. That's the strat here. Power steel is needed. Remove his rock stacks. One more power steel here. Give me that level two. Go right into his block here. Unstoppable. I'm sorry, unblockable. And as you can see, I didn't need the decks at all. And you know, these, you just, you just sit there and block, you know? Not a big deal. All right, all right, all right. Cost to level one, who cares? I think he had recoil too. Yeah. All right, and so that's war one. Down, I'm sorry, war four. Down. We got the summary here. Yes, what is it, 16 to one, yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, this one we also had somebody not place. So, uh, definitely a strong showing by us. Two wars out of six where we had two people not place. Um, so that's fun. That's fun. Anyway, moving on. Next war. We got uh, Salty. Always a big war. Uh, Tigra. I did this day one. Uh, yeah, super easy. There's a lot of people that can take her here. Usually in the past, I've always taken her with She-Hulk or occasionally Mr. Fantastic. But She-Hulk for the slow, but obviously Doom is Doom and he works great for so much. It's that power control, you know? 
I mean, she's got a lot of tools, to be honest. Like, so many tools. Yep, let's go into our Doom rotation here. Level 3, Power Steel into level 2, and it should be it. I did big boost because I don't want to die, so we're just going to big boost everything. Steal that power. Hold block. Try to prevent her from going to level 2. And we'll run right here into this level 2, and that'll be it. This next one we got null on 25. Uh, yeah, I kind of went back and forth. I was like, do I take Dex off for this or do I not? Uh, left it on just because I was confident in this fight. I did a bunch of duels uh, the day before and this day. And naturally, it didn't go at all like it did in duels. So, um, you know, had to, had to audible a bit. But, you know, it is what it is. It happened right here. Holding block, he gets up and throws another one. Never happened in duels, not once. Probably did 20 or 30 duels. So now I gotta contend with that. That was not part of the plan. So we're gonna throw these level ones because I don't wanna deal with this freaking um, reverse controls, whatever that's called. So we're just gonna do that. Steal his power right here, boom. So yeah, uh, you know, it, it took a little longer and didn't go quite as according to plan, but it worked out. I mean, let's knock him down and throw this level two, and that should do it. We're just going to watch him burn. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the, the wake up into level one from Null was not supposed to happen, but it's war AI, you know? That war AI will just get tricky. Next two fights, uh, we got Kitty, Nimrod for her, and then we got uh, Scorpion, and we're gonna use Nick Fury for him. Yeah, this fight's ridiculous. Kitty is just, just gets bulldozed by Nimrod. I mean, not even fucking. I think it's like a 20 second fight. Something like that. That'll do her. That'll do her. Let's see what this time is. I think this was literally 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Silly. Uh, you can actually, you can use Nimrod for Scorpion too, um, because he, uh, it's slower, but it's still relatively safe. Um, you can't necessarily parry freely, because you will get, he's not mutant, so you will get that disorient passive. Um, but he does clear the prowess. So, you know, you can use that rod, but why? Because you got Nick Fury, right? I mean, plan here, throw level ones. That's why I had the level one start on Kitty, so it carry over to this, uh, to get my, uh, charges up to prevent his evasion. Hold block, try to push him to level two, so I'll deal with that level one, rubbing all over my freaking block. And then light enders. That's the plan. Light enders. Take this level two out. Come on, bruh. This is my last fight as well, so like, you know, I could be reckless. I it could go sideways and I'd still be okay with Nick Fury because I got second life. And no fight after with him. Boom. That's all she wrote. So yeah, we did win this one. Um, three to nothing, I believe. Yeah, three to nothing. Oh, and look, everybody placed. Wonderful. Um, yeah, so that was a strong win. I mean, we were feeling good about that. You know, Alliance Donut, I think it's our second one this season. Solid showing. And from Salty, too. I mean, three deaths is, is really great. It's really, really good. 
so yeah, last war here for us. War six against noon. Uh, I've got Void and Claire on 4A and then Spot and Null on 4B. Um, yeah, this is super straightforward. We're gonna heavy first to clear that heal block and then basically just light enders and heavies. So we'll just keep clearing uh, the no debuffs and Void's debuffs. Yeah, the purifying on this node uh, that I do after getting smacked in the face um, does give me passive furies. I believe I think it's both these nodes on 4A. Yeah, quick fight. He goes down. Max deep wounds, of course. Uh, Claire, you could actually use Nick Fury for Claire here. Um, it's long and it's annoying because she's bleed immune. But uh, he does get passive furies, and he clears the um, all the debuffs from the long distance relationship. I think. So yeah, it's, you can do it. Um, but yeah, do because he's great. Heal block doesn't really matter. Don't run suicides. I'm gonna you know I'm parrying here to just see if these stick because I'd rather just parry stun and, and, and attack her from a parry stun. But you know. If it doesn't stick, it's okay. I plan to just bait out heavies anyway, but I didn't have to. Didn't have to do that. Yup. Dash back, light. Nope, let's just go right into this level two here and just watch it burn. And that's it. Minimal, minimal health loss. Pretty good time there, fight time, 43 seconds, I think. Um, yeah, this spot fight, uh, you know, as I've discussed, definitely like Blade against spot, but Nick Fury, also great. He uh, He's as good, possibly better, because his disorient on level one, I think prevents spot from gaining spots, while if he has a disorient on him. Um, but yeah, plan here was just basically heavies. That level one start is great, but it, you know it's mainly there for uh, the null fight next. But I'll you know I can carry you over to two fights. Why not? We're gonna throw the level one, get the story on them, and clear our debuffs. Another heavy here. I think it was a rank five spot too. So. I do have five tactical charges, which means he can get uh, untouchable, and it won't matter. I'll hit through his miss. But um, if he's untouchable, yeah, and you're hitting him while he's untouchable, uh, you do stack ruptures. I guess it's the consequence of like him not being able to phase through your attacks. So. Didn't really matter. He was unblockable there for a bit, but uh, last fight for Nick Fury. So again, I could have just, it could have gone completely sideways. I got a second life, wasn't worried at all. Uh, this fight, I always, you know, we always, we would send Mole Man here, um, but yeah, you really don't need to do that. Like he's unblockable the whole fight, but Doom can take a lot of punishment from Null. Um, you obviously hold block when you can to try to bait the heavies, but uh, you do have to land, you know, a few intercepts in this fight. I'm kind of just composing myself here, looking for a good opening. Here we go, we're able to bait a heavy. Don't want to push him to level one yet, so we're gonna do it now, and then hold block, and then take a few to the face. Wasn't trying to, but I'll take it. Push him to level two, hold block again. Yep, intercept there. We're going to get right into our level three. Let's do our rotation. Let's go for the power steal. He's got a level two ready, but we're gonna try to intercept here or take a couple more to the face, you know? That works too. Not intentional, but it worked out. Power steal again, alrighty. And then we're gonna just watch him burn. 
So yeah, like Doom is definitely a great option there. Definitely a great option. Gotta play well though. You know what you're doing. Um, yeah, so uh, we did lose this one. This is our first loss of the season. Keeping it close. I don't think the only alliance that's undefeated right now is 1NG, who I think have been getting favorable favorable matchups in first place. Um, hopefully we match them next and uh, crush them. So look at that. 3-2 final. Had we placed all 30 members in place, we would have won that. And I think we beat them on time, too. So, uh, what are you going to do? You know, what are you going to do? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.